All right, in this video, we're gonna go over how to set up your general settings with Lifter LMS. Now, keep in mind that on your WordPress dashboard, there, there are these two new menu items, Lifter LMS and Courses. So we wanna to go to Lifter LMS Settings, and you can see there's some tabs across the top here, and we're gonna take a quick tour through all of these and get into some of them in more detail later. So in terms of plugin activation, when you purchased your Lifter LMS plugin, you got a license key. So you would enter that here, and then you would select your currency for selling courses. Over here on the Courses tab, we want to set up the, the pages for what, what is the courses page. And by default, when Lifter LMS installs, it gives you a few new pages that you can work with, or you can create your own. I'm going to use the default Lifter LMS courses page. And we'll get into some of these options later. So I'm going to click Save Changes. Over here on Accounts, I want to set my account access page. So I'm going to choose the one that Lifter LMS gives us by default, which is called My Courses. And if I wanted to change the slug of the URL, I could do that here for courses or for badges or uh, my edit account, lost password slugs, and those sort of things. But I'm just going to leave that at the defaults. And I'm going to not use this option to use the email address for usernames, but a lot of people find that convenient so that people only have to remember their password and not also their username. I'm going to click Save Changes. And then on the next page, or the next tab rather, we're going to look at the checkout. So we're going to use this purchase page that comes with Lifter LMS, click Save Changes. Then on the Gateways tab, we're going to use the default uh, Lifter LMS shopping cart and we're going to enable PayPal. Save Changes. And we'll go into e commerce in more details in another lesson. Over here on the email settings, when Lifter LMS sends emails, I want it to come from chris at lifterlms.com and I want the name so when someone sees in their inbox who this is from, I could use my business name or I could put my personal name here. I'm just going to leave it as Lifter LMS. I can put some default text at the bottom of the emails that Lifter LMS sends, and I can also add a unique header image. I'm going to save changes, and we're going to look at these integrations here. And these are some more advanced or, or just different options you can use. If you are more on the social network side of things and you want to use BuddyPress, you can enable that, and that will take over the registration of your site. You can also enable WooCommerce if you don't want to use Lifter LMS's built-in shopping cart option, which is pretty awesome. But you can you just use WooCommerce and tap into their entire uh, ecosystem as well of extensions for various payment ga gateways and so forth if you wanted to. But for this course, we're going to look at using the default Lifter LMS shopping cart. And again, we'll get into e-commerce in more detail a little later. So I'm just going to click Save Changes here, and that is the lightning fast tour of the general settings of Lifter LMS.